everyone, Combo Reviewer here. This time, reviewing on Shazam, issue 11, 1973 series review. Now, as you know, yeah, in the 1970s, Shazam also had his own first DC series. And keep in mind, this issue is meant to have short stories and other tales. One of which I am going to be doing is the Shazam story, The World's Mightiest Dessert, which is meant to have that kind of Golden Age feel story to it, or Silver Age. And yeah, as you don't, if for those who don't know, on Earth S, Billy Batson and his supporting cast was on the original Earth, Earth S. So let's get on the story. The story mainly starts off how Billy Batson and his girlfriend Cassie go to Dr. Quartz's drugstore, and we see Billy Batson saying, Two of your colossal burgers, Doc, with french fries. Coming right up, Billy. What do you have for dessert? Holy moly, I won't have room for dessert after all this. And we see how he has these special kind of desserts, and says they're pretty much on the house. And as soon as they have them, it turns out they kind of... Ended up kind of re sort of forming again. And it kind of turns out that Dr. Quartz made some slight miscalculations and points out that he's got to eat every last bit. And if it and if it's left alone, the whole city will become some sort of giant dessert sort of utopia. And we see how, yeah, Billy, Dr. Quartz, and Cassie try to eat. So we see how Billy turns into to Shazam without them knowing, and Dr. Quartz saying, Am I glad to see you, Captain Marvel? This is certain it is run overrunning the place. Quick, start eating! Holy moly, uh, even I can't eat fast enough. Better get some help. And we see how he tries to get everyone that he can to help him, even some of his friends like Dr. Moore, I mean Mr. Morris, who runs the sort of news station and other sort of passerbyers. And we see how some burglars notice that no one's around, so try to steal whatever they can. And we see them saying, let's test the loo in our car and then try another place. How about a jewelry store? I'll pick up a present for my girl. I'm giving you a sock for Christmas. Good thing I came by looking for more eaters and we see how yeah captain marvel drops them off to where the dessert is and makes them start eating and we see how captain marvel says mr morris you're quitting can't take another bite i never ate so much dessert in my life and we kind of see how billy batson figures out what to do and ask dr M i mean dr quartz about mr quartz about the sort of dessert and that and realises that he needs heat. So you see how he grabs up as much coal as he can to create a giant sort of heat wave. And in doing so, we kind of see how things start to kind of get warmer. And we see how, thanks to the speed of Mercury, Captain Marvel goes as fast as he can, turning the whole place, the whole city, I mean, into a giant heat wave. And we kind of see uh, Mr. Quirt saying, Good work, Captain Marvel. You sure came up with the right answer. Thanks, Doc. But about your inventions. And we see how he decides to kind of give Captain Marvel a little thank you. The world's mightiest hero sandwich. And we see Captain Marvel saying, Oh, thanks, Doc. If I believe me, I won't want to eat anything for a long, long time. And yeah, this story is... Kind of okay. Like I said, it's one of those standard silver sort of golden age like stories paying as a tribute. Nothing big, nothing amazing, just a simple slice of life superhero story. But I think it still deserves a thumbs up. Still good and still alright. So, Comic Reviewer here, signing out.